Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel. My name is Candice. Uh, this is a channel about stitching. Um, mostly cross stitch with a little knitting and quilting thrown in. Uh, this is, I believe, floss tube number 15. Don't quote me though because I didn't check. I think it is though. Uh, so today's Wednesday. It is the 29th of July. We're almost to the end of July. August is around the corner. Oh goodness. What a month. So, um, found out last night that my kids will be doing virtual learning, uh, until after fall break. So if things were returned to in person, it would be after October 19th. Uh, this, we don't have any family nearby. We have nowhere we can take our kids and be like, hey, can you help them with school? Uh, so most likely I will be um, leaving my job and staying home to help my kids. And um, I guess on the upside, it gives me a lot more crafting time because I can stitch while they're doing their schoolwork and then just help them as they need it. So, you know, I can sit at the table with my youngest. I could diamond paint. I could English paper piece. I could stitch. I could knit. There's a lot of things you can do sitting at the kitchen table. Um, so my boys, the oldest is going into third grade and the youngest is going into first grade. Uh, I have a feeling that they're, they're going to require a lot of um, help, you know, supervision. Um, my oldest, though, he loves to learn, so I'm not nearly as concerned. Um, it's just more, he'll get frustrated if he doesn't understand something right away, so. <sighs> so I was really upset at first last night when I found out, and then the more I thought about it, the more I was like, you know, my husband had mentioned getting like a work from home job, but I don't know how that would work because what well, I'd be working using up Wi-Fi while the kids are trying to do school on the Wi-Fi. Like I'm in Northwest Indiana. Our internet is not that great. So we can do it on his income. I just need to not spend money. <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> but uh, it looks like they're going to start school on August 24th. Um, I'm a little nervous to tell my boss that she's going to have to replace me. Um, I'm the only one that does my job. And because I've been at it for a couple years, I'm the only one that knows how to do my job. So, uh, it'll be interesting. I really don't want to leave her in a lurch. But at the same time, you know, my kids come first. So... That's what's happening this week. <laughs> uh, let's see. So I'm working at night. So I actually get to do this video before I go to work. Um, because Boys and Girls Club ended, so my kids are home during the day. So my husband and I both work for the same casino. Um, we don't have anyone that can watch them here. So I took one for the team <laughs> and I am working at night and I cut my hours down. Um, I'm working like six or six and a half hours at night. So still technically full time, but not getting a full 40 hours in. So yay me. So how about some stitching? I actually only worked on, oh no, I worked on three things. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. Oof. I was a quick run upstairs because I have a finish. I mean, you guys should have known this was coming because I showed it last week. And I was like, I'm getting this done this week. Bloomtopia is done. How cute. So, I was gone this past weekend. I did not get a chance to fully finish it. Um, but I've got some fabrics that will look really good behind this. So, I'm thinking... Flat finish. I have some boards I've gotten, like, uh, you know, like things you hang on the wall that have, you know, sayings on them that I can paint, that I can put this on. So, um, I think I'm going to do that. It's not going to be frou-frou, but I think it'll look good down here, too. It's on, this is 14 count graceful gray, Ada, and then I just used DMC. If I didn't have the color it called for, I just used 
um, something that was super close. So, pretty excited. I had to finish, you guys. Yay! <laughs> Finally. Uh, finishes for me might be few and far between until I'm done working. But uh, I've been so into full coverage this month that I, you know, you don't finish full coverages quickly. That's for sure. So my other whip, I finished Bloomtopia, and then I was just kind of looking through my um, my box of whips, and this was actually a Mania Start. Oh, hold on, my needle is like stuck in my fabric. Uh, this is Seasons in Chalk Art Summer. So this is, um, Priscilla Blaine did this in the Just Cross Stitch Magazine, June 2016. That's where you can find this chart. Um, I, oh, my conversion's on the back of the sheet. How fun is that? So, uh, instead of chalk, I'm using whitewash. Instead of chives, I'm using bean sprout. Um, and these are classic color works except for whitewash because my LNS did not have um, chalk in stock. So I'm using Weeks Dye Works whitewash instead of classic color works chalk. And then uh, chai, it called for chives, I'm using bean sprout. It called for moonlit path, I'm using Plymouth rock. Um, it called for Ohio lemon pie, I'm using golden star. Golden star is amazing. I don't know what Ohio lemon pie, I mean obviously it probably would have looked like this. I love Golden Star. And then for Blue Coat Red, I'm using Ladybug. So my red is not quite as red. Um, this is what Ladybug looks like. So it's, I mean, it does look really red on here. It's more of a, um, I don't want to say orangey red, but here, let me show you. And this is on 14 count Black Ada. Um, when I started it for Mania, I had the I did the B, I did these leaves, and then I did the outline on these two leaves. So that's all I had. So I've done the outline for these two. The flower's almost done, it just needs the gray, and then this flower is done. So I love it. And look at the colors on that B. I don't even know if it's showing up right. There we go. That's showing up a little better. And then I kind of worked with, if you can see on the flowers, I kind of worked with the variegation in the fancy floss to make uh, light and shadows on the flowers. Um, I will probably do that throughout on the flowers and the leaves. I'll just work with the, the variegation to give it some shading. So I really like this a lot. Um, I do have the other magazines in PDF form to do the rest of the seasons in chalk art. I don't know if I will. I, I probably will because um, I really like this. I just need to figure out, um, I like that they have it in a white frame and it's just very like, like a shabby chic frame. So I don't know, I like this. I think it would be fun by the front door. You just walk in and you're like, oh, summer. Get me out of this heat. It's actually not terrible today. It's like 83 or something. So, um, let me get my needle back in here because I will be, I'll take this to work tonight and, uh, hopefully get some work done on it. I'm sure I will. And then this is just in a project bag that I made. Just a plain old zipper project bag. Uh, since I'm going to be probably not employed, uh, I've got a lot of supplies that I could make project bags. So I'm considering it. Um, project bags, grime guards, maybe some other stuff. We'll see. We'll see. I know there's a lot of people that sell project bags out there, um, but I really like them. And some people just don't want to make their own. They want to buy them. So, so that is a whip. And then I only worked on one full coverage piece this week. One. Um, and it is mini citrine from Heaven and Earth Designs. Let me pull out the sheet here without hopefully hitting the computer. That's this one. 
I know. Teeny tiny little picture. Uh, so this one I was doing Tour de France in Stitch Top Paid Challenges. And that's where I'm at now. So I actually, um, I didn't work on any more purple. It was just a lot of this orange because there's a couple of spots here that I still need to fill in and it's very confetti right here. And then as I would get done with the one or two stitches that were here, I would just bring it down to wherever it was in her hair. And then it looks like I started to do some of her skin last night too. So I finished up the, the challenge and then I didn't want to stop stitching on it. So I just kept stitching on it last night and I did like an extra 300 stitches. So I didn't add up how many stitches it was, but the stitch count equals the kilometers for the Tour de France total. So, um, yeah, I got quite a bit done on this and I'm pretty excited and I, st I still don't want to put it down. I've been working on it all month and I still don't feel like putting it down. So, and this is a 25 count Lugana. It's one over one called for DMC. So yeah, I, I think for this week I'm going to, oh, this is my clip holding my fabric for, cause eight is pretty stiff until you've um, handled it a lot and then it'll soften up. Well, my black Adia is not softening up yet. So I was using a clip from work to hold it. You know, it works. So we got today, tomorrow, Friday, and July is done. I'm just going to work on, I'm going to pretend like arbitrary August starts right now. Thanks, Erin, to Martini Stitcher. Um, she gave me the sweetest shout out, you guys, uh, in her video this week. And she is doing Arbitrary August. Basically, it's stitch whatever you want. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stitch whatever I want. Whatever I feel like that day is what I'm going to pull out and stitch. So uh, I'm kind of going to start that right now, starting today. So for sure, I'm going to take Seasons and Chalk Art Summer to work tonight. And then my knitting project because it's not done. Uh... But then, yeah, it'll just depend. Tomorrow, it could be completely different. I could work on something totally different. So I'm kind of excited because this will give me a chance to just touch a whole bunch of stuff I haven't touched in a while and just go by whatever I feel like that day. Um, so I did, Heaven and Earth Designs is having a sale on a bunch of their charts until tonight, I think at midnight. You need to go to the website and check just to be sure. So if you're not watching this on Tuesday, and I know this will probably upload sometime later this afternoon. If you're not watching this on Tuesday, I'm sorry, the sale's over. I mean Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. If you're not watching this on Wednesday, I'm sorry, the sale's probably over. Uh, but there's a whole bunch of... My kids are fighting upstairs. I'm sorry. Slightly distracted. Uh, there's a whole bunch of charts that are half off. And of course, what do I have to do? But get the rest of the Carol Cavallaris um, iris charts. So this one, and it's funny because until I blew it up the other day, I didn't realize there was, um, there's an eye in the middle of it and a face. There's a couple of faces. It's called Mini Goddess of Healing. And I know there's a glare from my screen, but so there's an eye right here. There's a face. There's a face. I'm sure there's more stuff hidden in here. But I didn't really get a chance to look super close yet. Okay, I think there's only two faces and one eye. But it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Uh, then the other one I got is Mini Fire Goddess. And this one has a hummingbird down here. And my plan, I think I said it last week, my plan is to hang all of these in the same area. Because they're all mini charts. So, like... This next one is Mini Goddess of Mystery. It's 13 by 9. They're, they're not huge. Um, this one's gorgeous, though. I think I might have showed this one last week or the week before. Um, I love it. It's looking a little more blue to you guys than it is to me. It's a little more of, like, a purple blue. So uh, I'm pretty excited about those. I did only get three charts. <laughs> and then I got my uh, July 2020 Thread Club from Color and Cotton. Uh, I did get these right after my video last week, I believe. So if you did not get yours yet, then 
you can feel free to look away. But um, I got cardamom. It's a really cool. Uh, let's see what I got here. What do I got? There? Oh, look at. I don't know if this is gonna make a difference, but so there's cardamom and Bombay and hollyberry. I like these. I could have used hollyberry in. Uh, yeah, I totally could have used hollyberry in seasons and chalk art for the flowers. Oh, too late. I'll use it for something else. So that was my color and cotton. And my hands-on design, let's talk autumn. So I showed you guys last week the uh, winter chalkboard one that you have to go on Hoffman's and order and whatever. So she's actually going to do another winter one. Um, that I'm assuming since she came out with August now, or with autumn now, that winter will be her next one. But I love it. I am considering doing it on a more neutral fabric, like a very like fall type fabric. Um, I'll have to do a floss toss and see how my colors show up on it. But this, there's a stitch along for this that starts August 15th. So if you want to get in on that, I'll link the group below, but it is HOD and then hashtag chalk talk sal all one word so i will link that below and if i don't do it today i will definitely do it tomorrow um i don't think this video is going to be uploaded by the time i head to work so i can probably do all of my uh my description box stuff at work tonight too because that's how busy i am and then my just cross stitch halloween I can't tell you how many floss tubers were giving one of these away, and I was like, I cannot enter. I ordered one, even though I probably would have gotten theirs faster, but I ordered one. I haven't even looked through it yet. Look, still, I got it yesterday. <laughs> so, um, I'm definitely going to take a peek see through this and see what I can stitch up real fast. Uh, let's see. That's it for stitching stuff. Stitching stash acquisition, I guess. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I think I'm just going to roll with whatever feels right this week as far as stitching. Um, I'm sure you noticed this one behind me. I've been trying to switch it out every week so that I can give you guys kind of um, some ideas if you are a knitter. If you're not a knitter, maybe you're just like, oh, it's really pretty. Uh, but if you are a knitter, maybe this is a design you hadn't seen before. Uh, so this is called Slow Curves, and it is by Hohi Locatelli. This is one of her pictures from Ravelry's, Ravelry's website. And it uses five colors, and then you basically just go back and forth. There's some short rows, there's some yarn overs. Um, so we have like some eyelets in here. The short rows are really easy. Uh, it looks like it would be complicated. It's not. I mean, you just little, uh, stitch markers help to keep your place when you're doing short rows. So this is actually made from Sweet Georgia Yarns. It's their Tough Love Sock. And I had actually bought a kit for this. I'm trying to think if the kit was for this or something else. I don't remember. But it was a kit of, you know, I think it was, it was for a fade. It was for one of her fade wraps. But I used five of the six colors for this. And I love it. It's, I wear this sucker all the time. Um, it did take a long time to stitch. I'm not going to lie. But I did this one in... Let me check. I actually stitched it really quickly. Um, I believe we were doing a, I don't know if we were doing a knit along or if it was during her fall knit along. It was her fall knit along. Um, I started it on September 14th, 2018, and I finished it on November 4th, 2018. 
And generally, you know, with cross stitch, I am not a monogamous stitcher. But when it comes to knitting, I will get in the groove on a project and it's basically the only thing I will touch. Even if I have six other whips, if I get stuck on one, I'll just keep knitting until it's done. And that's kind of what I'm doing right now with this. Uh, let me make sure I don't pull any stitches off my needles because there's 523 stitches on this super long cable. So, how about I show you the right side? You don't want to see the wrong side. Okay, so I finished clue four. That's where the blue is right here. And then I started clue five. So this is the final clue. It's just a simple lace band and then um, it's literally mindless lace knitting because every row is the same. Well, the right side row is the same. The wrong side row is purl back. So um, my shawl will end here. So this is, oh my gosh, this thing is huge. So this is where I'm at. See how far I can sit back. I cannot wait to be done with this and block it. I think I have like eight more rows to go, but because there's 523 stitches, those rows do not go fast. So um, I'm hoping to get it done. Well, maybe not this weekend. We have We have a graduation party. Unless social distancing makes it impossible for us to go safely. Um, but I'm hoping that it's just a few immediate family members that were invited and not the whole town. Because um, none of us need to be exposed to anything. But I don't know how much I will get done this weekend. So um, that's it for knitting. I did Let's chat about some quilting real quick. So, oh Lord, I need to leave for work in 40 minutes. I got my next block done. There are four of these that look exactly the same. Um, I got this done for the quilt along for Fat Quarter Shop. It is a free quilt along. It's called Jelly Snowflake, and you can find that on the Jolly Jabber website. Um, every time I say Jolly Jabber, I think of Janet Jabber because they're so close. But as far as I know, she doesn't knit. Or I mean, she doesn't quilt. So, but it's just funny because every time I say it, I'm like, in my head, I go, oh, did I say that right? Or did I say Janet? So, um, <laughs> Janet, I'm sorry if I if I mention you instead of the Jolly Jabber website. But, um, so this block is done. And then tomorrow they will come out with the finishing um, section, which will have the middle block. And then whatever we're doing for the the outside or the binding or if there's anything extra that goes around I don't know uh, and then um oh, I can't remember her name she is so I kind of remember her name but it's really hard to say and I don't want to screw it up she is the designer behind laundry basket quilts she is actually doing a tutorial on how to make this quilt bigger if you didn't want it um, as small as it is and I think I might do it bigger just no one to use up some of my um, jelly roll strips that I still have left over from it and two because as it is right now even um, quilted and bound it's not gonna be big enough to be a lap quilt except for maybe my six-year-old so I do not know what my kids are doing up there so I was excited to get that done and Fat Quarter Shop had some of these that, um, I don't know, they discovered they still had, or I don't know. Either way, I got one. Because I had seen people's finished um, objects, and I was like, gosh, that's really cute. So it actually comes with a whole bunch of cool little stuff. It's a little pin cushion. It's wooden on the bottom. I thought about putting a magnet on it and sticking it to my sewing machine. Um, it comes with this little, it's like a, you could put... They say you could put your extra um, strips from your quilt on here, but you could make a little bell pull cross stitch too and put it on there and hang it up. It's super cute. And then, let me see. Okay, so this is what the, the quilt looks like. 
I don't know if it's gonna focus right. Um, so it came with labels. So there's labels in here, quote labels. And those are from Sweetwater. And then here's the fabric for it. It's super pretty, very Americana. Um, and then it has a panel in here too that goes in the middle. So I'm pretty excited to do this. It'll be fun. It'll just be a little one. Like I'll probably make it a wall quilt and then hang it up. You know, I don't have anything Americana to put on the walls. So I know we're a little late for that this year. But um, yeah, so that's the, the Liberty box from Fat Quarter Shop. And I got a couple patterns. This one is Glow by It's So Emma. Uh, because I have all this fabric, so I needed to get some patterns to use it up. And then this one is from Thimble Blossoms. It's Flower Girl 2. This makes a really good size quilt. This sucker is like 74 by 74, which means I could easily make it big enough for our bed. It's just another row of blocks on the top and the side. And then it's big enough. And this one uses 20 fat quarters. So if you've got a bundle that has, say, 30 fat quarters, easy. All you need is some extra background, make some extra flowers. You're good. And then my, I put all this stuff back here because it was just easier. Um, this was the June 2020 mini charm pack that I get from Fat Quarter Shop. So this one is All Hallows Eve and it's by Fig Tree and it's their Halloween fabric. I love it. And I've gotten some of this fabric in their scrap bags that I had ordered from them. So um, I'm like stoked. This one is also from Fig Tree. This is Christmas Figs, which is out right now on the website. It's so pretty. And then this one is Christmas card. This is Sweetwater. That's the same ones that made those labels. And then last is March de Noel uh, from Three Sisters. So this one's a little more uh, subtle, like country Christmas type colors. So I think what I'm going to do is make some knitting project bags out of, I love, I don't know why, but I love mini charm packs. I love them. Um, so I think I might make some like little sock knitting bags or, um, smaller project bags out of them. Let me see. And then of course, you know, flash sale can't go wrong with, they actually let you order two for this one, which is nice. Normally you can only order one. Um, so this is by Primitive Gatherings. It's Urban Farmhouse Gatherings. It's all grays, a few blacks, creams, I think, yeah, off-white. Um, so I got two of those. I can make a pretty good size bag out of two of those. And then I wanted to get back into, I watched a couple of Tula Pink's uh, English paper piecing videos, and I kind of wanted to get back into um, doing my, I have some English paper piecing that I've started. And I would kind of like to get back into it, but I was thread basting all of my hexagons to the hexagon templates. Who knew? Sue Daly's a genius. So I ordered some of her glue and then I got some size nine and size 10 needles to try out. Um, but I'm going to, I think I'm going to start small and just do some little, like, maybe something that goes underneath our Lazy Susan on our table. It's kind of like, not a table runner, but maybe just a little, I don't know. I mean, then you really can't see it if it's underneath. So, I don't know. But I, I do like English paper piecing, and it's very, um, I don't know, it's fun to me. Some people are like, oh, how could you do that by hand? But I, I stitch by hand. I knit by hand. The only thing I don't do is quilt by hand. You know, I use a machine for that. So, um, I believe that is all I have for this week. Um, I have got 30 minutes, so I need to go make my lunch and change for work. And at least my kids are dressed. It's been one of those days. I, last night, my contacts were bugging me at work and 
I tried taking, I have contact solution at work for just such an occasion. I tried taking my contacts out and cleaning them and nothing was working. My left eye kept fogging up and I just, finally I called my husband and I'm like, can you bring my glasses for me? Because silly me did not throw a pair of glasses, even though I have an extra contact case, I did not throw a pair of glasses in my work bag. So uh, he brought me my glasses to work. I left my contacts sitting on my desk. It's all right. My eyes probably needed a break anyway. Um, during quarantine, I wore my glasses all the time. I rarely put my contacts in because it's easier for me to stitch in my glasses. If I have my contacts in, I need to wear reading glasses to be able to see well enough to stitch. Um, so what happens when you don't have perfect eyesight? It's got nothing to do with age. I'm only 40. So that's it for this week. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. If there's anything that, oh, this mystery knit along. I know I mentioned it before, which is probably why I forgot to mention it this time. It is called the Stillness Shawl Mystery Knit Along from Curious Handmade. Um, Helen Stewart is the designer behind there. And the all of the clues have released. So I believe if you buy it now, you get the pattern with all the clues in one. So it's not like clue one and then a break and then clue two. It's just the entire um, pattern all in one. So I think she does that right after the final clue releases. So if you wanted to make something like this, I am in love with it. I love the colors. I mean, I wanna wear this sucker right now, except it's hot outside. So I will see you guys next week. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I hope you have great weather. Um, if you're struggling with the whole back to school thing, like I am, I totally get it. Uh, and hopefully things can work out for everyone and we can get through this. So everyone have a great week. I will see you next Wednesday. Bye.